Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to uh, select uh, show quality um, Kohaku. And uh, in the bowl, I've got uh, two. There's a, a biggish female and a smaller uh, and a smaller male. So the first thing about uh, selecting Kohaku that uh, I think is very important is the uh, uh, is the body shape. So you you first want a, a really strong long body shape almost like a cigar shape so not too thin um, and, and also not too fat so the, the bigger one has possibly got a better a better shape although the, the, the one on the left hand side is a far younger fish it's also male so it's not going to have the same kind of bulk as what a, a, a female fish would uh, uh, would have the important thing though with kahaku is you want the pattern to go all the way across the body so don't take something that doesn't have uh, pattern across the body so you want it starting just uh, about a centimeter from the or two from the front of the face and then you want a little gap at the tail as well so make sure that pattern stretches across the entire body there you can see it runs from the front to the back on both these fish from the front to the back so gap at the front gap at the uh, at the back both these fish are really good show fish so the one on the left and it, it, it uh, the video doesn't even do it justice in terms of how white this fish is but uh, the one on the left won uh, mature grand champion at the Southern Cape Show, and the one on the right won junior grand champion. So it's a bit smaller than the than the female, but uh, I mean, clearly some really, really good uh, uh, good fish. Um, the next thing you want to look at with the uh, kawaku is the color of the white. So you almost want to just uh, see if you look at if you look at these two fish at the moment. Uh, the bigger one is stressing the, the little one has got really good white you almost want it to be slightly creamish but uh, very good quality you want to also look i mean this is a male you can see there's very little yellowing on the head it's actually got a white face watch for that um try and make sure that you've got uh, um, a fish with with very white um very white skin um as i said like an off creamy uh, color would be good but not too not too yellow when they when they're younger they they tend to develop quite a, a bit so less of a problem when it's uh when it's young so the first thing is body shape the next thing is pattern just another comment on pattern i think also try and make sure that you've got uniformity in the pattern so an even spread across the body you don't want it to be too lopsided so it needs to look like something it's almost like a you're looking at a, at a picture so you want something that looks appealing not too one-sided um, not too much in the front not too much in the back so like an even uh, spread with a couple of uh uh, a couple of steps um, then what I look at that's quite uh, important uh, to me is uh, the scalation so you need to look at where the pattern starts uh, and where the pattern ends if you look at the big one on the back of the, the neck or on the shoulder of the fish you can see it's pretty clear so that needs to be strong and clear uh, at the back you don't want to have more than about one or two rows of um, I think it's called sashi and kiwa is the uh, is the name. You, you don't want it to have it to be too blurry. So literally just one line. There you can see it's quite clean. It's quite crisp. If I look at the male, you can see he's even more crisp. So the edges of the pattern need to be very very crisp. Great idea if it actually follows the scale. Look how that follows the um, the scalation of the the fish. So very crisp, very clear patterning. If you see uh, a pinkish color in the red if you see a yellowish color just check to see that the the red is not going away um, if your red is still taking shape or it might be losing its color that's very important as well what uh, what's quite nice as well is I, I tend to think that the red that's on the head this year is the red that's on the body the next year so that intensity on the head of the kuaku there moves on to the body in the second year I mean that just might be a an urban legend but I, I really do believe it's uh, it's true you can always see the head is always one shade darker than the the color on the rest of the um, the rest of the the body so these are two really good examples so if you're looking for kuaku you need to also imagine when you're looking at babies how this might spread out so what's this pattern going to look like when it spreads out so younger fish you can have the patches a lot closer together it's almost like blowing up a balloon so as you as you expand as the fish grows the the pattern seems to separate apart it's almost like the the shifting of the uh, of the continents um so you can allow for that a little bit when it's uh, 
when it's younger. But start off with a nice full pattern. I mean, the, for me, the both these patterns are really good. If I had to criticize the Kaku, I would say it's maybe a little bit dominant on the right hand side in terms of pattern, um, the bigger one. The little one is almost perfect for me. If I look at kind of small demerits, it's got a little bit of lipstick on the lip. You don't want to have kind of bits and pieces of red all over the fish. You don't want to have too much red. Um, I don't look for fish that have got red in the pecs, red in the tail, red in the dorsal, any of the fins. Try not to get red in the fins. It's uh, you know, there's a chance it's actually going to pull back into the uh, into the fish, but also a chance that it doesn't. So I prefer not to do that. If you're buying high quality fish and you're paying a decent price, you're not going to have fish with too many demerits. Just don't buy fish that have got, like literally, if you look here, the first half of the pattern and then nothing towards the back. You need balance. And I've seen, you know, guys charge a lot of money for fish that are incomplete. They're not good show fish. I mean, these are, these are decent fish. I wouldn't say they're the best fish in the country, but... Uh, you know, they're good, they're good looking fish, they're doing really well. Look, look at the small cock and that little patch. Great if it wasn't there. Also look at the patch and how far down it goes onto the, the body. Don't take something that's too small on the top of the fish. Try and take patterns that go down on the side of the fish as, uh, um, as well. And obviously from a aesthetics perspective, the female will always look better than the male unless you've got a male with a very good body shape. I mean, here you can see, so, so yes, he's smaller. He's got a bit of a hump on the on the top his shape his shape is starting to uh, uh starting to get there but the female i mean that's quite pronounced you can see it's got great shape like a great hump on the on the body some people don't like that i really like that i mean it's uh you know it often happens with uh, really good fish and also if you're feeding good good food they tend to get strong but make sure that it doesn't get fat i mean that's the that's the uh that's the other thing um in another video i'll talk about how to get the white of the fish out before uh, uh, koi shows but uh, in terms of selecting kahaku you really want to stick to those couple of principles so looking at the, the pattern across the body make sure it uh, uh, runs across the body kind of balanced left and right and also from uh, tail to, to nose make sure it's got the two gaps the back of the fish and at the, at the front make sure your, your edging of your scales is clean and uh, neat make sure you've got nice white on the fish and a great intensity in the uh, in the red and then you've got uniformity as well you don't want to have patchiness in the uh in the fish i mean that's not a good uh not a good sign if you look at demerits on the big one you can see it's a little bit uh the pattern's broken away a little bit at the at the back i mean if you wanted to you could clean that up with uh you know with uh pulling a, pulling out a couple of scales but I, I don't really want to do that with the fish i prefer to just keep them as they they are i don't uh, cosmetically alter my fish at all it's just not doesn't feel uh, feel right to me um, so yeah so that's it for Kohaku what I'll do now is also take a look at some of the some smaller babies and uh, you know kind of make comments about uh, what to select in a bowl full of uh, toss eye because that might help you out uh, as well and don't just buy the first one I think the important thing is you know what the the standard is for these fish don't just buy on impulse wait till you get something that's decent that's got nice patterning um, that's got nice breaks in the pattern, a couple of steps. Uh, you'd see the, the male there. I mean, it'd be great if he had another step kind of close towards the, towards the front. I mean, that would be ideal. But, uh, you know, he's still a nice looking fish. The, the bigger one, some really nice steps. You can see it steps its way through to the back of the, um, to the, back of the fish. So find a really good small one. Look for those traits in the smaller fish. Don't worry about the intensity of the red as a... Uh, as a baby it's not going to have that same intensity as an adult uh, fish and uh, just let it take time to develop but importantly get the colors right in terms of uh, uh, the skin look for the right pattern just look for a fish in good condition as well I mean you want to make sure that the fish is looking um, looking healthy and looking good got a decent body shape and when you see a good fish against a bad fish you'll know what the right uh, what the right choice is um, okay, so let's look at some tossi now um, and how we'd select out of, a, out of a bowl. Okay, so what I've done here is I've selected uh, a couple of pictures on the, on the net. So these aren't my fish. These were just pictures randomly chosen from the net. But uh, I specifically chose different uh, types of kohaku so that you could see the, uh, the differences that you might experience. The first thing that you must understand is you're more than likely not going to find that all Japan grand champion uh, in the bowl that you're looking at. So you're going to have to accept uh, something linked into your price range, um, but also something that uh, 
has really strong positives might have a few demerits but you must look at the positives of the fish rather than the than just the the, the, the negatives and uh, that's how you select so if you look at the four that we've got here um, automatically what you can see um, is that number four looks really really solid and uh, uh, strong I mean it's got an even pattern uh, split across the the body uh, it's quite stocky there you can see the tail break is not exactly uh, ideal but um, nevertheless a really good uh, looking fish going to number three um, what I'd say there is the body shape looks pretty good two things I don't like with that fish though the one is the the fact that the face uh, and the red on the face doesn't break really nicely it hasn't got a nice pattern it hasn't got a nice edge to it the second thing is you can clearly see that the red pattern is quite unbalanced I don't really like that but nevertheless a good looking fish number two possibly for me the worst of the the, the bunch these are the kind of kahakus that I don't really like where they're very very top heavy they've got lots of pattern at the at the front and not so much at the the back and that only looks worse as the fish gets uh, gets bigger then number one not too bad a pattern I mean I'd still say it's possibly heavy towards the the front rather than the the, the back um, I would have liked that step at the back to be a little stronger what I do like about number one is the body shape I think it's got a really nice strong long body shape so that's really um, appealing I can't see too clearly it looks like it might have a red eye um, and I don't really like that in uh, uh, in a kaku so that's something to watch out for so if you look at those four and you had to judge them based on uh, as they stand I would say none of them are completely perfect I mean there's there's kind of little issues with uh, uh, with each of them I mean I like the pattern on on number one I like the fact that the pattern swerves around onto the the mouth I like the typical three-step pattern on on number four I like the body shape of number three number two for me is is by far the the, the worst fish in the uh, in the bunch but if I had to choose out of those fish there um, my choice would possibly sit somewhere between number four and number one I'd more than likely go for number four even though it's got uh, it hasn't got a clean break on the tail which would be nice um, it's it looks like the most well-rounded uh, fish the other thing on number four that's maybe slightly a bit irritating is the edging so if you look on the second step the start of the second step it looks like it's a bit unclear but these are toss eyes so you know they're going to develop they're going to change they're going to come come right but uh, um, you need to select the best one for for you on the um, on the day and understand it's not going to be 100 percent perfect if you pay the right amount of money you're more than likely going to get better or you will get better quality but um, it's about making an educated decision with the fish that you have on uh, on hand so that's about it for the video um, I think post your comments and uh, let me know what you think and uh, uh, ask me any questions you want to ask about uh, selecting your next uh, kahaku thanks for watching guys